Hi, I'm Vicki. And I'm Joanne. Welcome to our kitchen. Today we're going to make an all-time favorite of mine, which is a savory skillet pie. It's made with garden fresh vegetables that you can find locally, and it makes a great brunch, lunch, or dinner. So let's go ahead and get started. In a large skillet on medium-high heat, we're going to cook the bacon until crisp. And then I'm going to reserve the drippings uh, for some other steps we're going to show you how to do. Okay, the next step for our savory skillet pie is I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of the bacon drippings from Vicki's bacon that she just fried up. Saute some nice fresh onion. I've got some beautiful sliced red pepper. Go ahead and saute that for about five minutes until the onions are nice and soft. Now for some really zesty color, I'm going to add some corn. And I, these are not some cut up green beans. Look at the beautiful color in here. I'm gonna go ahead and saute it for just about three more minutes just to soften the beans up. And then we'll be ready to take the next step for our, our uh, frittata. Okay, I've got some Swiss chard here for you. I'm gonna take out that center rib. But what you can really do is you can substitute spinach, you can use kale, and then you can just kind of roll it up and chop. Okay, we're gonna take one teaspoon of the bacon drippings and add to the skillet and we're going to cook our Swiss chard for about three minutes. Okay, the Swiss chard is all cooked and we're ready to add it to our vegetables. Look how beautiful it looks. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna take some eggs and I'm gonna add some half and half. We're gonna put in some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna use some dried thyme uh, because that's what it calls for in this recipe. But you could use basil, you could use whatever's fresh in your garden that you like. Okay, I'm going to take our egg custard mixture, pour it right into the vegetables here, and we're going to let Vicki go ahead and finish it up for I us. get to add the bacon. The good part, mm -hmm. <laughs> as always. Doesn't that look yummy? It's so nice, nice and, crispy. and crisp. That's what you want. You want crisp for sure. And the cheese. Look at that. I'm just going to toss that in there. You know, and I think so if you want to use a Mexican blend, oh, you know, absolutely. wouldn't that be good? You, know, you could use mozzarella. I think it's like anything else, whatever combination of vegetables you like to use. Okay, we're ready to finish it up. I've got a 10 inch skillet here. I'm going to pour the whole mixture in. I've got the oven preheated at 375 degrees, so it's all set to go. And then this is an ungreased pan, which worked out perfectly. Mm. And we're going to pop it in the oven for about 35 minutes, and then mm -hmm. we'll be ready to go. Okay, we let this set about 10 minutes to set up before we cut it. And it all kind of stayed, you know, mm -hmm. in place, mm -hmm. cut nicely. It smells delicious. And like we said before, perfect for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, any time of day. I think it's a nice combination. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can also customize it however you like. Look at that bacon on the top, bacon Sour and Sour cream would be good. That would be, we've got added mm -hmm. some fresh chives here. Mm -hmm. The corn is a nice addition too. It's I don't think nice you see crunch. that too, too often. And the bacon's not bad either. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it, is, it is delicious mm, and satisfying, mm. one that you're surely going to want to try at home. Mm. So remember, if you like this recipe, go to our website. We have thousands more recipes, yummy, tried and true, tested, Absolutely. tasted by us mm -hmm. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.